In the module Weather Instruments, students learn about the condition of the atmosphere, the blanket of air that surrounds the Earth. They also become introduced to meteorologists who are trained to study and forecast the weather. Meteorologists gather data from many different places, from cities and remote islands and mountaintops to ships and buoys at sea, to ensure that their information is as accurate as possible. Meteorologists also gather information at the same time each day so they can make valid comparisons among the data. In this module, students learn that air temperature affects the weather more than any other factor, and that air temperature is measured with a thermometer in either degrees Celsius, most countries, or degrees Fahrenheit, the United States. Students are also introduced to air pressure, also called atmospheric or barometric pressure, which is affected by air temperature. For instance, air at high temperatures is less dense, so air pressure decreases. At lower temperatures, the reverse is true. Air pressure is measured with a barometer in either millibars, using the metric system, or inches of mercury, using the U.S. standard. Students also discover that wind, the movement of air over Earth's surface, blows from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure. They measure wind direction with a wind vane and wind speed with an anemometer. Students learn that water vapor is the gaseous form of water. The amount of water vapor in the air, or the humidity, also varies with temperature. For instance, warm air has a greater capacity for water vapor than does cold air. Finally, students gain information on the amount and type of clouds in the sky. The proportion of sky occupied by clouds is called cloud cover. Cloud cover is classified as clear, partly cloudy, or cloudy. Cloud type can be classified roughly as stratus, or flat, cumulus, or piled up, and cirrus, or tailed. In addition to classifying clouds and cloud cover based on visual inspection, students learn that contemporary meteorologists use satellite observations and computers to predict weather. Students explore weather instruments with 12 hands-on activities and the Delta Science Reader. They first measure weather conditions using kit tools and devices of their own making. Students observe and compare temperatures in Fahrenheit and Celsius and take thermometer readings twice a day. They then investigate air pressure and barometers and construct wind vanes and record wind direction and wind strength. Students also conduct experiments with evaporation and condensation, which lead to humidity tests, cloud classifications, and indoor precipitation. From their data, students finally draw conclusions about connections among the weather factors and learn how and why today's factors reliably predict tomorrow's weather. In the Delta Science Reader Weather Instruments, students read about what weather is and what factors cause changes in the weather. Various weather tools such as the thermometer, barometer, wind vane, anemometer, hydrometer, and rain gauge are described. The book also presents biographical sketches of key scientists in this field, Gabriel Fahrenheit, Anders Celsius, and Sir Francis Buford, and describes the work of airport meteorologists. Finally, students read about wind chill and how a thermometer works. <laughs>